Okay, in this video I want to talk a little bit about links. We can't talk about the internet without talking about links. And I want to show you how we're going to create those links in our HTML um, pages right now. Okay, so I'm looking at a simple HTML page over here on the left in Notepad and on the right we're looking at the same page in Firefox. And it's just real basic here. I've got some basic um, uh, uh, paragraph tag with some text in it that we're going to add links to. So let's say I wanted to add a link to my first, this is so cool, I actually want this to be a link that my users could click on and open up, let's say, um, City College's homepage, right? We're going to go and insert into our HTML here an A tag. And the A tag needs an href, href attribute, okay? So this is the basic, basic structure of the opening tag um, of the A tag here. And I need to include within quotes, exactly like you see here, href equals open quotes. And I'm going to put the website of the, um, the website that I'm linking to. So let's go sdcity.edu. Okay. And we've got that opening tag now finished. And now I just have to close my A tag. So now I've got two important things here to notice. I've got the text that I want my tag, um, my link to actually be. This is the text that's going to be underlined and clickable. And I tell my browser, hey, when you click on it, here's where I want you to take me. Okay, so let's save this and then we'll reload it over here. And suddenly we have a link very good over here on the left and when I click on my link looks like we're going somewhere yay we're going to City College's homepage okay so that link has worked wonderful while we're here I want to show you another attribute that you can use with the a tag we can use our target attribute and with the target attribute we're able to tell the browser in which window we want that new link to be opened. So I'm going to tell the browser that I want it opened in a new blank browser window. So that means that it won't open my web page, my City College web page in this browser window itself. It's going to open up a new tab or a new um, browser window So uh, to, to that page. Okay, so let's try that. Target equals for uh, open quotes underscore blank close quotes and we're gonna save that and we're gonna reload our page over here and nothing looks like it changed because visually we're talking about the same link here but now what happens when I click that page is you'll see that it opened up a new tab for me over here and the City College site is actually opened up in a new window I can't go back to my page, it opened up in a new one, so I would just close it. So that's how you do that opening in a new browser window, which depending on how you want the experience to be for your users, sometimes that makes more sense than opening the page in a new, uh, in the same window. Now what if I'm not linking to an outside website, I'm just linking to another page within my own website. It's another file, another HTML file that I've got on my website. Instead of going out to an absolute URL, an absolute path name here, I would go to what we call a relative path. So I'm going to still use my a href equals and still use my double quotes. And I like closing it off like this completely. And in fact, sometimes I'll even close my tag off and then think about where I want my um, link to take me here. And in this case, in my website, I've got another file that's available that I want to link to. We're at so cool right now. I actually want to link to this awesome file. It's another HTML Firefox document. And I want to link to that file um, with this link. So how do I get to that file when right now I'm in so cool? Well, I'm not going to leave the, this directory. I don't need to have. I don't have to go to any other folder. All I'm going to do is tell my browser, "Hey, open up the file, awesome.html." So that's what we're going to do, awesome.html, and then we'll save this guy. 
and we'll reload it over here. And now we've got our third, this is so cool, with a new link. So what happens when we click on this guy? Yes, we're taken to this is awesome. All right, so that's adding a relative link um, with our href, our a tag. So we don't always have to link out to an external site. Um, that's probably what we've you're more used to doing so far, but you can also link to, and you're going to be doing this a lot in this class, is creating relative paths um, and linking to pages that are part of your own website.